stinks. All right, let's take a look at storm scan. Really, really wide zoom for you here. Uh, we still have high pressure on our side. It is keeping control. It is keeping things really quiet just cold, which we'll get to, but I definitely need to talk about this upcoming coastal system. If you had outdoor plants, you were going to go pick your pumpkin. You were going to go apple picking, that kind of thing. You may want to try to rearrange that, guys. This storm system, especially closer to the, that you get to the coast, it means business. So it's still getting its act together, but eventually this is going to work its way up the coastline and start to make its arrival here even as early as tomorrow evening. So we're going to jump you all the way to 5 p.m. in the forecast rain amounts here, and that's about the time that the precip's working its way in from south to north. And because because it's coming overnight from south to north. It is not out of the question that you even see a few wet snowflakes mix in in the Poconos specifically, but yeah, we're getting to that point of the year. Meanwhile, this is the expectation. It's a model's representation, but I, I like how this at least gives you that gradient where you've got the heaviest rain at the immediate coastline, and we're talking possibility of upwards of maybe three inches or so, and then those numbers do start to decrease the further inland you go. So in the city, it would be about an inch worth of rainfall coming through, but that chilly raw feel to the air. The coast, though, is where the impact is felt the most, as you would expect from a coastal storm, with wind gusts as high as 60 miles per hour. That could lead to power outages, but it's a really calm start to the morning here in Cape May right now. It's just cold. Enjoy it while you have it, right? We keep those temperatures below average right through the weekend, and again, as early as tomorrow evening, Chandler, that rain is moving in.